There it is, $40,000 just sitting there waiting for us. All we have to do is ride in and get it. Now, this is the main teller's cage. He's got a sawed-off shotgun under the counter. Farley, you'll see, never gets his hands on it. Ram, you keep one eye on the sheriff's office across the street and the other on the bank guard. Here, once we're inside, I'll move straight to the vault. Farley, you cover me. Shouldn't take more than five minutes if everything goes right. What if it doesn't? Then it's every man for himself, and we'll get back here to the cabin the best way we can. Let's get moving. Ram, are you sure you want to go through with it? Too late to back out now. What if something goes wrong? Nothing's going to go wrong again. If we get our hands on that money, everything's going to be all right. as soon as I get back. Be Those saddlebags and canteens under the horses. Right. What happened? What does it look like? He's lost a lot of blood. We'll have to. There isn't time. We've got to take time. I killed a man at the bank. I couldn't help it. The fool went for his gun. The whole town came alive. There was a lot of shooting. He can't be moved. That we know. Then we'll have to stay. Don't be crazy. There'll be a posse riding down on this cabin in a few minutes. You're not going to leave him. We can't take him with us. If we do, he'll slow us down. We'll all be caught. Well, let us move. He wouldn't leave you. Well, maybe not, but we got our hands on a lot of money, and I'm not going to spend it at the end of a rope. I won't leave him. And stay. Stay and watch him drag him out to the nearest tree and hang him. No, Matt, I won't leave him. You're going with us. I've always admired this horse. Besides, Remy ain't going to need it. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave him! Yeah, that little affair's over. Now it's my turn. Oh, you... Hold it, Farley! Two of us might get together to spend this money, but now's no time to decide it. Let's go! <laughs> ah, ah, ah.
Still warm. Let's go in. I heard someone in the bank say those three got away with over $40,000. Poor old Bill, they shot him right through the middle. Well, you wouldn't catch me going for my gun the way he did. They could have the money. Slim says he thinks he hit one of them as he rode out of town. One of them's got a hold of him. That'll slow him down. Come on. He'll be traveling slow. One of them's wounded. Where are they? It's no good, Sheriff. You and Charlie get him into Doc Tarrant. The right. rest of you come with me. Any luck, Sheriff? They headed south of the Pedro. We lost him in the dark. He's one of them, all right. Well, what do you have to say for yourself, mister? Not much I can say. You plain face admitting you rode with them that held up the bank? Didn't do me any good to deny it. What about the others? What about them? They rode off and left you, didn't they? Did they? Man did me that way, I'd get even if I could. I plan to. What names they go by? Who? Now, you look here at me, mister. Only thing keeping you from a hang rope is that bank teller being too ornery to die. That don't mean we can't turn that key and keep you jailed up here till the healer freezes. Look, young man, those others, they got off with $40,000. So having you means very little to us. The important thing is the money. Meaning? Meaning that folks about here had almost all they owned in that bank. Just natural they'd take kindly to you if you was to tell us who the others were and where to find them. I can't do that. You mean you won't? I mean I can't. I don't even know where they are. You asking me to believe that you outlawed with those gents? I'm not asking you to believe anything. But you could give the sheriff here their names, their description. I did that, he might catch up to them. Before I did. Well, mister, you ain't leaving us much choice. Facing a robbery charge alone, gonna go hard on you. Not as hard as it's going to go on them. Thank you.
Ain't seen you around much lately. I ain't been around. That could be a reason. Coffee? Yeah. Not a lonely country out here. Peaceful, though. Makes a man quiet inside. You still killing, Billy? I'm alive. Are you? Much as you. I dug a grave for a man back in Palace City a year or so ago. Folks there were saying words about a holdup how the others rode away rich, let you in jail. Is that a fact? Something like that. You found him yet? Who? Matt Rankin. You make good coffee, Billy. You know, that's the trouble with this territory. It's too big. Man goes looking to find somebody. Can take him near forever. Yeah. Thanks for the coffee. Brim? You tried Gunther Wells? Sun ain't half high already. We got us a scorcher. Yep. Oh, it's just too blamed hot in this country. Getting hotter all the time. Sure seems that way, don't it? One of these days, so help me, Lee, I'm gonna ride north. Up toward Montana in that way. They say a man can freeze up there. That sure would be nice. Yeah. Well, Lee sprays the heat keeps the peace. Too blame hot for people to go breaking, Lord. See you at the office, Lee. Sheriff? Look. No, I never saw him before. Seems deserted. Everybody's in the shade. That sun pours down on a man. Yeah, I hadn't noticed. I'm Sheriff Martin. This is my deputy, Lee. Howdy. Howdy. You got a name? Anderson. Remington Anderson. Heard of him. Where's your hotel? Down the street on the right, just past the saloon. Be seeing you. That's more than likely. Yeah. 
getting hotter all the time. I told you to knock. Rem's in town. What? I said Rem's in town. You're crazy. I tell you, I saw him. What are we gonna do? That's up to Rem. But we can't just sit here. You got any better ideas? Maybe. Maybe if you went to him. Sure, sure, I'll go to him. Walk up, slap him on the back, and say, remember me? I'm the one who left you behind, the one you went to jail for? What about the girl? What about the girl? Well, leaving Rem behind, that was bad enough. But when he finds out that Jan and you have been... Then what, Farley? Look, he has a fair quarrel with me. But I'm not about to get myself dead for somebody else's woman. I'm pulling out. You ought to do the same. I wonder how far he'll get. What was that all about? Rem's in town. You haven't forgotten him, have you? I tried. You're a witness to that. Yeah, I guess I am. Not now, Matt. Jan. If you've got any ideas about going back to him, forget him. There's probably only one person in the world he hates more than me. You. Hello, Farley.
crap. Shut up. Where's Rankin? Where's Rankin? In the saloon. Jan. Jan's with him. All right, you get back there and you tell them they're not going to have a chance to run out on me this time. Sure. Sure. I'll tell him. What was that all about? He was riding my horse. Just a minute, young fella. This town may not look like much to you, but we got laws and I enforce them. You gonna arrest me, Sheriff? I figured on it. What for? I seen that Farley fella riding this horse for near a year. Well, I got a bill of sale on this animal. Description, markings, brand. He's even got my initials on his saddle. You saying Farley stole your horse? I'm saying he was riding him. Meaning you don't intend to charge him with horse taking? That's right. You need me, I'll be at the hotel. What do you make of him, Sheriff? I ain't at all sure. I guess we'd better go over to the saloon and find out if that Farley's got a bill of sale for that animal. No need. No need? Nope. Maybe that Anderson fellow was lying. Maybe. Still wouldn't do no harm to check. Look, I figure if Farley had a bill, he would have come storming into my office, demanding I do something about it. Anderson beat him clear up. Say, that's right. <laughs> Never thought of that. That's sure a mighty funny way to let a fellow know he's riding your horse. Tell you what, Lee. You keep an eye on the saloon and that young fella in the hotel. I'll be in the office. Let me know if you see anything out of the ordinary. Sure thing, Sheriff. Oh, I sure gonna be a scorcher. Are you sure that's all he said? Wait, well, that enough? You ask me, come dark, we ought to pull out of here. A day will put us in some No. Somewhere. But why can't Shut we... up. Yeah? He still hasn't come out of the hotel. He will. Look, Rankin, I don't know about you, but I want to get... Jake. Yes, sir. Can you find Billy Deal? Guess so. Why don't you just shoot him in the back and get it over with? What am I supposed to do, run? You did once. Well, Mr. Rankin? Find him.
Sheriff. That woman, that uh, Miss Janice, from the saloon, she just went in the hotel. She did, eh? Well, you told me to let you know if anything out of the ordinary happened. That's right, I did. Thanks, Lee. Say, you don't suppose she knows that Anderson fella, do you? She probably does. Well, maybe I'd better get back and keep my eyes open. That's a good idea. I'll be out in front of the hotel if you need me, Sheriff. Right. I had to see you, Rem. Get out. Rem, I can explain. Explain? You mean there's a reason to run off and leave a half-dead man to a posse? There's a reason for that? I didn't want to leave you. But you did, didn't you? Why? I've asked myself that a thousand times. Couldn't have been the money, could it? You can't believe that. Can't I? I should have left you where I found you. In a saloon? Is that what you mean? Now look. No. No, you look. I'm every dirty thing you think I am. Only worse. All right, so I ran out on you. You think you're the first man I played for a sucker. I've rolled drunks in every cheap saloon in this territory. I've cheated and lied my way ever since I can remember. And there's not one sin I haven't done at least once. But I loved you. You're the only clean thing that ever happened to me. You wanted to settle down. Live respectable. You wanted to own your own ranch. Then you had to ruin it by throwing in with Rankin and his kind. You wanted to own your own ranch, all right. But you wanted to steal the money to buy it. You're no better than the rest of us. I'm sorry I came up here. Why did you come then? Why? Because Rankin sent for Billy Deal. He's going to blow your head off, Rem. And you don't have to believe that either.
Sheriff. Slow down, Lee. Billy Deal's in town. Billy? Just rode in, big as life. Bigger. Wonder what brings him to town. He tied up and went into the saloon. You suppose that Farley sent for him because he's sore about that Anderson fella doing him like he did? I like the thought. Farley's the kind of man who wouldn't fight his own fight. Yeah, Farley's also the kind of man who wouldn't have enough money to hire Billy to gun a man. How old is that boy of yours, Lee? Huh? Oh, uh, he's six. Say, you don't think Billy might be... Six, huh? Nice to be six. Six? Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Six. Nice day today. Why don't you take him fishing? Fishing? Yeah. It's a great big bass that just sort of lazes around under that bridge at Higgins Crossing. It's about the biggest bass I ever seen in these parts. Oh, now, Sheriff, look. You'll be back before it's dark. Every doggone time there's trouble, I always have to take the kid fishing. Son, this town's going to be here a long time after I'm gone. You can take care of it then. You understand? Yeah. I guess so. You'll be back before it's dark. Good luck. You know I hate fish. You want to see me? You heard of Rem Anderson? Here. Yeah. He's in town. So? He's here to kill me. So? There's five thousand dollars. Of money. I like living. Where is he? He's staying at the hotel. One thing, Rankin. Rem, you better see he's buried real good. He's a friend of mine.
Hiya, Billy. Graham Anderson. In the hotel, is he? He was. He ain't now. Went out. Where to? Didn't say. Just went. You sure? Yeah, yes, Billy. Much obliged. Thank you. Looking to find you, Rem. You found me. <laughs> yeah. Unbuckle your gun belt, Billy. Throw it down. No, I can't do that, Rem. I've been paid to kill you. I heard. Five thousand. It's a lot of dollars. 
drop your belt. You don't stand a chance against me, Remy. You know that. Unless, of course, you already got a gun on me. What makes you think I don't? Well, I know about gents like you. Always give a man a full chance. <laughs> Even a man like me. Don't do it. your money. Should it be? Well, I guess I'll have to check the bank, see if there have been any big withdrawals lately. Billy made a mistake. He drew, but he wasn't fast enough. Well, since you say this isn't yours and Billy had no relatives, we'll try to use it to make sure we don't raise any more Billy deals in this town. I don't like you, Rankin. I never have. I don't like what you and this saloon stand for. Going somewhere? Yeah, somewhere. You went to see Rem, didn't you? Didn't you? Did you think for one minute that I wouldn't? No, I guess not. Did you tell him about us? No. But he still wouldn't have you. Do you blame him? Yes, I blame him. He knew all along what you were. What am I, Matt? Just what am I? A woman. A full woman that's had to make her way the best she could right from the ground up. And doing it got a little dirt on her. You're not all Sunday school and lace, but that's not your fault. Isn't it? Look, Jan. It's no good, Matt. I can lie inside about a lot of things. Even leaving Rem like we did. But us, I can't even explain it to myself. How can I explain it to him? So you're gonna run? As far as I can. Then you go right ahead. I never forced you to stay here with me. I never will. But let me tell you this, Jan. If you walk through this door, you'll have to walk right back through another just like it. 
If it isn't this saloon, it'll be another one. And if it isn't me, it'll be another just like me. You may get away living with a high-minded for a while, but you'll be back. Think about that, Jan. Think about it real good. Mr. Anderson. Coffee? Yeah, don't mind. Thanks. I, uh... Sure, I'm sorry about this. Us having to lock you up and all. Here you go doing Billy Deal like you did. And us treating you like a common outlaw. Truth is, we've been trying to get rid of Billy Deal ever since I can remember. Same goes for Rankin and his crowd. I ain't at all narrow thinking, Mr. Anderson, but some of the things that goes on up in that saloon make a man blush all over. You wouldn't believe this, but there was a time when Gunther Wells was as peaceful and quiet as Sunday, every day in the week. Then this Rankin comes along. Next thing you know, folks start drinking, playing cards, fighting, cow hooting all over the doggone place. Saturday nights, he used to send a whole wagon load of them gals from Indian Springs. It was worth a man's life to walk by them swinging doors. I've been after the sheriff to close the place up. He claims there's no law that says a man can't run a drinking hall. Maybe he's right. Where's the sheriff now? Seeing to it that Billy's put under proper. Reverend Black will probably read words over him. A few holies ain't gonna help Billy too awful much, though. More coffee? No, thanks. Lee. Huh? Oh. Leave it open, Lee. I thought that preacher'd never get through talking. Anderson? Yeah? You drew in self-defense. I can't hold you. Thanks. There are things that you'll keep bothering me, though. That's so? You ride into town, and you find a missing horse. Then all of a sudden, Billy Deal comes along and draws on you. Why? I wouldn't know. Wouldn't you? Can I go now? Doors open. Young fella. Yeah? Keeping the law in this town is my business. I intend to do it no matter what. Meaning? Meaning that gunning a man like Billy Deal in self-defense is one thing. Plain killing is altogether something else. I'll remember that. You'd better head. I'd hate to have to hang you. I brought the horses. They're off back. Good. Where's Jan? I 
don't know. You don't know? What I said. You mean she's not going with us? That's what I mean. I thought you two were straightened out. Yeah, so did I. I'm going with you. You don't have to run. He won't hurt you. I don't think anyone could ever hurt me again. To Sonora, I'll make you forget all about him again. It may take time and money, but... I said, leave me alone. There's no use getting upset. You could have stayed behind, and Rem, he might have even taken you back. Woody. What difference would it make? You aren't cut out to be a ranch woman. It ain't a fit life. <laughs> this is, I suppose. It's all in how you look at it. Take Farley there. He hadn't met me, he'd probably gone through life honest, upstanding, and poor. By this time, he'd have more than likely worked himself to death for somebody else, and they'd have to take up a collection to bury him. Same goes for Rem, too. But you and me, we like nice times. Like back there, we had everything. Money, clothes, each other. There was a while back there I thought you'd forgotten all those crazy ideas about settling down respectable. Yeah. So did I. That's what I like about us, Jen. We want something, we take it. Listen.
Whatever you think of me, you were the one, only one. We would have been respectable, wouldn't we, Rick? Sure. Sure, you bet we would. up this early. They've gone. Rankin and the others. Pulled out during the night. What about Anderson? He's gone too. Jake the bartender says he thinks they're headed for Sonora Town. Oh, they'll never get there. They got a good head start on us. When that sun goes high, it'll sure slow them down. Come on. Oh, 
Yeah, I know. They swung south here. Now I know where they're headed. Here. It looks like. Well, guess we better find us some shade. Shade? Sense my animal if I was you. Give him a breather. Sheriff. Ain't we going after him? In no hurry. It's me. Fella tries to do a good job. Got your crepes all over the doggone countryside. I'm up there in that canyon, you can't get them out. The next thing you want to do is want me to go fishing with it. I don't know what I'm doing. Sit down, Lee. Get out of the sun. Sheriff. Lee. Why? That bass at Higgins crossing. Didn't catch him, did you? My boy doesn't like fish either. Come tomorrow, what say we both take a crack at him? Look, Sheriff, us just sitting here. Ain't they getting away? Nope. 
You know, I hunted all through this country. Know the ground. Look, that there's a box canyon they rode into. It's about a mile deep and wide. It's got walls so steep a bird has all he can do to get out of it. You mean they'll have to come out the same way they went in? One of them will. said you were going to do that Anderson fellow that way, did you? Didn't I? Don't seem at all right to me. Nice fellow like that. Probably had a reason for all this. Yeah, probably. But there ain't no reason for killing me. No, don't guess there is. I'd sure hate to have to hang that.
he dead? Partly. What am I supposed to do with him? That's up to you, Sheriff. He killed my woman. And you brought him in. Why? I kind of figured you meant what you said about plain killing. You did right, Ram. Finally. Take good care of him. I will. He's gonna be all right. He'll make a good citizen. Wish he was in our town. Yeah. Yeah. So do I.